G'day, property pals. How are you? My name is Ben. My name is Marcus. And we are extremely excited for the first episode of Property, property pals. pals. Now, we were thinking real estate mates, weren't we? But Sounds much better. Look, the, the name was already taken on YouTube, I think, and Instagram. So we're property pals for now. Pals, maybe mates one day. And so what are we going to be doing, Marky? We're going to be talking about properties that we have... Properties that have caught our attention in 2022 for the right reasons, mainly. That's now, right, and we're based in Melbourne, Australia, so we're going to be talking about uh, you know properties that are in Melbourne that have sold over the past 12 months that yep. have really caught our attention. Now, today we're going to be just focusing on apartments, Yep. right? So there's just that many properties that have sold that we'll focus on the top 10 apartments which have caught our attention, and then later on, on another episode, we'll look at top 10 houses that have sold over the past 12 months and maybe then like top 10 like luxury properties. Luxury properties like and ones that are on the market because as the market's kind of sleeping at the moment, we're in January, when it starts in, we'll say, February, March, gaining a bit of traction, we'll bring you live kind of listings in which you can go to them, have a look. Um, we'll be providing our comments and thoughts. We're not financial gurus by any means and don't provide advice, but we'll provide our thoughts and I guess property analysis. Yeah, that's right. Like ultimately we're not financial advisors, but we both work in the property industry and we found during lockdown over the past couple of years or during COVID, we were sending each other listings as they came out almost on a daily basis and debating with each other what we thought was good, what we thought was bad, what was a good buy, you know, what was or what was not a Value. great buy and what sort of when this sold, what does that mean for this sort of values and we found we were speaking to each other about it a lot. So we, there's got to be some people that are interested in this too. And some of our mates are interested, especially right. first home buyers, where maybe they're not necessarily really understand the property market fully. So they kind of were asking us a few questions. What do you think about this? And we're happy to provide kind of our thoughts and insights yeah. on this kind of podcast kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah. ultimately, like, you know, we're looking at every single day. So we thought we'd share what we thought and, you know, make sure that, you know, if you're interested, leave some comments below what you think. Maybe some stuff that you thought was right or that you had a different opinion on What something. you'd like us to review, which apartments? Yeah, yeah, if there's, an, if there's a property that's come up on market that you want us to review, we are definitely happy to do it. But So without it? further ado, we've got to jump into this. So today, top 10 sales of 20, yep. 2022, which have caught our attention. Apartments, let's go. Number and 10. Number 10. All right, so 15 of 192 Little Collins Street, Melbourne. It's a two-bed, one-bath no car. Now, okay. this is in the middle of the CBD. Mm. So let's just say if you like CBD living and having everything at your feet, it's great. Um, right in the heart of the Paris end of the CBD. 755K. So it's not a large quantum. It's probably in that first home buyer quantum threshold. And it's right in the heart of the city. It's a double story apartment. So kind okay. of like New York loft type of thing. Cool. Um, now, the bedrooms are next to each other, so there's no separation. Ben and I, we like to have bedrooms separated, so don't share a wall. I'm just saying, if Marcus snores at night, then I can hear next door. But yep. I think it's just our preference is to have separated bedrooms, so they're not directly next door to each other. But for some people, that won't be an issue. No, not at all. Um, the master bedroom has a study, interesting. Great. It's only got one bathroom, so mm. if you're sharing a bathroom, it's not always ideal. So that... I wish that was a second bathroom. It would be perfect. But mm. it's not. It's a study. can be useful. Um... A major con, I think, from this one is that it's really close to other buildings. You'll have a lot of people looking at you. Mm. Um, so the privacy is not, not necessarily amazing, but it's a unique kind of loft apartment, double story in the CBD. Agreed. And I think ultimately, if you're living in the CBD and you, you're willing to consider living in the middle of the CBD, you you just got to accept there's going to be people and things going on all around you. But at the end of the day... It's also in kind of like a heritage building. It's yep. an extension on top. It's the penthouse, so it's a great location. You're right in the heart of Paris End, which is like the highly desirable, District, tends to be yeah. a little bit more bougie sort of side of the CBD. And um, it doesn't have a car, but that's quite common for CBD apartments. Location, location, location. And Everything's maybe there. You don't even need a car no. if you live in the CBD. No. So I think that's a good one. That's now, a good first home buyer. Number nine, Ben. What do we got? So number nine, now you just pop this up is Unit 6, 108 Cambridge Street, Collingwood. Now today, the, our top 10s, they're gonna be focused on suburbs that we're really looking at. Collingwood is a super cool, mm -hmm. super hit suburb that's gentrifying really fast. This building actually, I think was built in 2002. So it's over 20 years old. Earlier in Collingwood, in terms of the development area. That's right, in terms of like early apartment developments, it's just one of the early ones. It is a, quite a unique building. Now we'll pop a couple of pictures of what it looks like on the outside. 
it looks like a face I find this building and it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. It's a bit odd. It is a little bit odd. But the cars, so it's got two cars, this apartment, which is very unique. Uh, it's got, and these cars aren't in a stacker. So they're actually at grade or they're, they're cars that are on the Separate ground. title in a way. So yep. they've got their own kind of parking. Um, it's got two bedrooms, but they're next to each other. So again, bedrooms next to each other, not highly desirable for us. And I found this building faces south. So in Australia or in the Southern Hemisphere, often we talk about the most desirable apartments are northern facing. And that's because you're gonna get sun from right in the morning when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west until the end of the day. If your apartment faces east or faces west, you get sunlight quite intense for a period of the day. And if it faces south, you tend to miss out a lot of sunlight. And this one faces south, but, um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's got a bar um, balcony. It's got this beautiful plane trees right in front mm, of it. Plane trees are great. Also, in, in winter, summer, they're perfect. They tree line straight um, unless you have... Or the leaves fall off. That's right. So leaves fall off in winter. Sorry, yeah, fall off in winter to let more light in. In summer, they come back. But it's a really cool apartment. Um, I really like the look of it. Uh, it. It's right in the heart of kind of probably one of the most desirable streets in Collingwood. And so I think for, you know... 814,000 K is what it sold for. That's quite a, you know, it's quite a big amount for say a first home buyer. Um, but for, it's not over a million dollars. Like this is still within a range for a certain portion of buyers. It's near Smith Street. Like yeah. location right next to the tram, uh, get into the city, go further to the Northern suburbs. I just think it's ideal for your first kind of home. Yeah. And or, if it's a family offer, it's just, Friends, yeah. So. yeah, it's two bedrooms and the one bathroom isn't ideal, but then it's got a little balcony and also the cars aren't in a car stack and we'll probably talk about it in some of the later ones overall. Yep. So that's our number nine. Cool. Number eight. Number eight is 408 416 Gore Street Fitzroy. Two bed, one bath, one car. Now, this what is, sort of in, building is it's this? a heritage building. Oh. I think this is the building that is most desired in Fitzroy. It's definitely one of the most popular buildings. Popular Fitzroy, building. Right? I sometimes call it a bit of a jail cell. I, uh, I, I'll tell you why, because you go in the inside and it's been renovated and it's kind of like communal hallways or hallway. And um, it's like you're in a jail cell, but let, let's talk about I it a bit more. Some people feel that on the inside, but some people love absolutely it. love it. It looks cool as anything on the outside. It does. And it's sold for 890K, so okay. upper end. Um, for a two bedroom? Two bedroom, one bath, so okay. upper end. But I think um, Gore, it's between Gore and Kerr Street, it's on those ones. So those are the best streets in Fitzroy, um, which we like. We've both been through the building. Um, it, Tends to achieve really high value rates per square meter, doesn't, doesn't it? I'm ben? not sure exactly what I'm not sure what the internal area of this. And when we talk about rates, what does that mean? Well, a rate you look at the internal area. So, for example, if this was a two bed one bath, it might be 65 square meters internally. Now, 65 square meters, um, and then we look at how much it sold for, and we divide it by, let's say, if it's 60, 70, and it could be between 10, 12 thousand square meter, or even lower if it's in the suburbs that are further out for apartment. So, and just to like clarify that for. Um, some of our uh, learning know, property people learning about it is that often the way that you look at the value of an apartment or a property when it sells is the rate per square meter. And so you look at the internal area, which is basically how many square meters are inside the apartment or the house. Yep. And then you get the sale price and you divide that by the internal area. And that will give you an amount of money per square meter. And that could be, we talk about, you know, rates of could be $8,000 a square meter, $9,000 a square meter, $10,000 a square meter. And then we use those rates when we compare to see whether it's, you know, an acceptable value. Yeah, and that's well explained and clarified. I like this because um, in a heritage building, this one in particular has greater floor to ceiling. So mm -hmm. that means that the height from the slab to the ceiling is greater. And that means, for example, in this building, the windows are even larger, so it gets in more natural light. Mm -hmm. And that's a major pro because when you have apartment buildings developed these days, they tend to be a bit lower, so 2.7 metres usually. We want to fit in as many apartments as possible. Correct. And so for um, and then for this one, I think it would be between 3 and 3.3 metres. It's huge. It's it massive. feels sprawling height on the inside, so lots of natural light. And you, feel, yep. you feel really spacious and easy to breathe. Easy to breathe. Be bedrooms are separated, and Ooh. they're a decent size, but the downside is the second bedroom, the window actually looks internally. Okay, what does now, that mean? Now, that means that it, you don't get natural light as such. 
Um, you'll, you'll get light, but it's from kind of the uh, communal walkway area, so it's not necessarily out onto the street. And I think that's just a downside sometimes of, of warehouse, like ultimately this was a warehouse beforehand. Yeah. For con I don't know what it was, maybe it was making some sort of a garment or whatever, and Collingwood, Fitzroy, these sort of suburbs were traditionally an industrial suburb. Yep. And then this building, like it's about five levels tall, I think from memory, and so it's been converted into an apartment now. So originally it was not designed to be that, and yep. so one bedroom faces out outside one bedroom faces internally so there's one bedroom is a lot better than the other i've just checked five and ground floor so six stories we're close Great. we got it um i'm i'm happy to go on to uh number Great. seven now ben no, number yarra. seven. Oh, here we go let's let's get to we're in a glitzy south yarra and this building here when you go down chapel street it is the one of the first <laughs> ones that you see it's big it's gold it's out there it's got a lot of personality and this building here um there's some people will love it some people won't I think I really like this, particularly for, you know, first home buyers or that sort of, not right down low, but lower range. It sold for $790,000. The internal area, which we talked about before, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like it's 75 to 80 square metres in total. Yeah. And so then it gets out to around $10,000 a square metre. Now, these bedrooms too, if you look on the floor plans, they're separated, which, you know, Marcus and I, we find that quite desirable. Love it. And they're quite desirable. It's not, it kind of is north facing. It's more like north east, east facing. Which is good, which is good. I think north east is fine. You still get the sun. Yeah, in the um, morning. Yeah, it's but better than north west, to be yeah, honest. It gets quite intense Hot. then. I just wanted to note that the second bedroom, while there's two bedrooms, the second bedroom isn't a rectangle shape. It's a bit yeah. of an odd shape. So a bit harder to position your bed. It's a bit different. Mm. It's fine. And some people like it, but just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, so a natural a square or rectangular bedroom is a bit more efficient because you can fit things right into that mm. corner if it's a funny shape or well, then it's sometimes difficult to fit stuff but ultimately like I'm all about that view you've got this beautiful unobstructed view yeah north. Well, the view north as well the one thing is that doesn't have a balcony and mm. that might be a negative you think but it's probably a positive because balconies at this level near yep. roads they can get what dust it, it can be 15, noisy 15th yeah. level and windy so mm. I, I don't think it's necessarily a downside you're, you're choosing the location and the view that's right and you've got a car two bedrooms two bathrooms look i like it Love so it. what's our next one number um, six all right number six i believe is 11 Oh, oh, 111 slash 239 Napier Street, We're Fitzroy. Back in Fitzroy. Fitzroy, Ben loves Fitzroy. Like, let's be honest, I think you'd be wanting to live there for the rest of your life. Now, two bed, one car, bath, one car. So um, it sold for 1.012 million. Um, and that, like, that's a lot for an apartment when you think bucks. about it. It's, it's a million dollars. So it's probably not that first home buyer it's a level. Lot of money, yeah. It might be even a downsizer. Could so, be. Um, and when we say downsizers, you just want to give a. Bit well, of downsizers. Like downsides, you're going from you might have had Family kids, home maybe, maybe maybe the kids have left, yep. or or is it also it could a downsizer could also be someone that is in a bigger house and they're just going to a smaller house. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's what it sounds like downsizer. Um, I just want to say location. What a location. So we've between Brunswick and Smith Street, which have trams, both of them, and then you've got to the North Johnson Street, which has buses. So great location. Um, it's slightly back from the Brunswick Street, so it's a bit of a noise buffer. So that's it's good. It's slightly further back, and it's opposite townhouses, so it has great views, and mm. which probably won't be built out. Now Ben and I always think about views. Will they be built out? Will something be built in front of you? Mm. Um, because that can affect the value of a property in terms of it blocks out your view. But then again, that is quite Napier Street's are quite a wide street, right? Yep. So you, you've got views that way, and you're going to always have natural light. It's only on level one, so it's not. Really high up in the air. Near good the trees. If, you're, if you're scared of heights. Yes, yeah, good if you're scared from heights. And it was designed by Woods Baggett Architects. Okay. I like them. Um, it's on top of a cafe. I'm just looking here. It's got a really spacious balcony area. You're in, in the tree kind of tops there. It's got a minimalist interior, which I kind of, I do yeah. like. Um, How many bedrooms and bathrooms do we have? So two bed, one bath, one car. One bath, okay. One bath. So the bedrooms are not separated, but they, they're fairly small also. Yeah, like I when I saw this sale, I thought that's a high rate per square meter. Now, I'm, again, I'm not sure what the internal area is, but it, it's quite a high rate per square meter. It's got an awesome balcony, yeah. right? Awesome balcony, only one bathroom. So, um, this so you're sharing be, a bathroom essentially. If you have two people living in different rooms, you're sharing a bathroom. Or it could be, you know, you've got a study at home, and then you've got your own bar bedroom for where you sleep. Mm. So it might mm. be that's maybe that's a setup that we've got. And I just the last thing I wanted to touch on is the, you see the kitchen in this situation. It's not like an island kitchen. It's actually just against the wall. So yeah. that because the the space you have isn't necessarily large. So they've done that on purpose to allow you more space in your living and meals area. Mm. Um, 
But otherwise, a fairly good buy if you've got a million dollars in okay. Fitzroy. Let's move on. Number five. Bum, 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 bum. Now we're back in Collingwood, so just next door to Fitzroy. And this is unit 304, 47 Peel Street, Collingwood. Now this one sold for 950k. Our favourite building, I think, one of our favourite buildings in Melbourne. Look, it's in a great, really central area. It's designed by um, six Milieu. De oh, so six Degrees, is, do they do this one? Oh, sorry, Six... Uh, Ooh, gosh, I'll right. double we, check. We, we better get a double check. I think yeah. it might have been DKO, but we'll double DKO, check who that okay. is and we'll, we'll put it down here. But look, the developer is Milieu. They've done a lot of different developments in the Collingwood area. Yeah. Um, it's highly desirable. And my first uh, first thing that kind of popped ahead when I saw the rate, so it sold for 950k and the internal area, again, we're not sure exactly what it is, but it looks approximately 75 square metres. So the rate per square metre, which we talked about before, you know, it's edging towards 13,000 a square metre. And that, for an existing building that was built five years ago, is quite a high rate. And it underpins just how desirable this sort of building is in this area. And the milieu, the, the name, the, and I think they hold their value and even go up, which is surprising sometimes to see, like, in, in apartments, yeah. as against land yeah. um, and houses. So... And I think ultimately, like Collingwood, this sort of area, it's gentrified a lot over the past probably five, ten years. Ten years, yeah. And we're seeing a lot more apartment developments in the area. There's only so many apartments that can be built, but also the demographics of the area, ages, uh, like you see really young, you know, young people, probably uni university, but then you see people, you know, well retired and, yep. you know, some people with kids at home. So it's a really diverse community now in this area. And this sort of sale, which was a two bed, Two bathroom, one car. Do you want to explain what the car as well, well? So the car, it's a stacker. Now, stackers aren't necessarily for everyone, and for a stacker, it's not like you just drive into your car spot. You've got to go into a system, and it, your car goes up in the air, up on the round, and... Press something to bring it down. So it takes time, and sometimes stackers can malfunction. That's true. So, like anything, they can malfunction. But, you know, that's just inner city living. Because space is so limited, and you're the site from which an apartment building is built on, it, you can't actually necessarily put a full-size basement in there because yep. it's too expensive. Or if they were to put a basement in there, it would be too expensive so the apartment couldn't be sold for the price that it is. Yep. But like a stackers, they work the building that I live in, has a stacker in it as well. Um, it works for me. Um, and so I just think that this sort of sale highlights just the absolute demand and the price that people are willing to pay to live in an area like this. And, and this, I'd just like to talk about the apartment itself for a bit. The exposed mm. concrete ceilings in this one mm are really like we love them I, it, they've grown on me i was like what is this but it's kind of the mill you look isn't it yeah i think like particularly for any sort of new inner city apartment that's been built probably in the last i don't know five six seven years yep. that has been the desired look of what buyers and renters wanted yep. so a lot of the ones that you've seen in that area will have been built with an exposed concrete so it, it is it just looks like concrete's on the ceiling but it's cool, it's it's industrial, it's kind of like a homage to the area, Collingwood and its industrial roots. So I like the look of it. It is directly opposite a club, <laughs> so it might be a little bit noisy at night time, but you can see by the price that was paid for this apartment how highly desirable it is. Mm. And uh, did you explain orientation? North That's right. Now, it's north-facing, so again, you're going to have sun pretty much throughout the whole day. So we like it. Yep, we do. All right, well, What's moving next on one? to number four. Number four. Now... 50369 Victoria Street, Fitzroy. Fitzroy, baby. Fitzroy, two bed, one bath, one car. Now I'm just going to bring it up here. So this is a unique apartment. It's it's in Fitzroy and it's a desirable location close mm -hmm. to Brunswick Street, but it's a double story apartment here and um, it's kind of on the top. So it's a penthouse of such. Yeah, it's a penthouse. Um, it's got unobstructed views to the city from the balcony, and the balcony is very generous in size. Um, and I don't think your, your view, views will be built out from this one. No, like it, it's so central in terms of the balcony too. The way it's set out, how does it work, Marcus? So you've got your living room downstairs, your bedrooms upstairs, yep. and then then you've got the balcony. Oh no, sorry, other way around. You've got your bar, bedrooms downstairs. Leaving room upstairs and then a balcony. Now, that's Which is balcony. ideal. That's like, good. Come on, you can yeah. imagine having a barbecue there or having a drink with mates. Party. Like it is so cool. Exactly. And the the only issue I think that we were talking about is that it's only got one bathroom. One bathroom, and the thing about this is it's a double story d dwelling, and it's got a bar one bathroom. So, for example, if you're on the top level, you have to go downstairs to go to the bathroom. Now. Some people can be picky, and that's not for them. Life is hard. I know, it's hard go to go downstairs, to bathroom, but, but others can be more accepting. Yeah, yeah, um, the bedrooms are separated by a bathroom. It's good. It's yeah. got good storage under the stairs, and, and I've, 
I live in an apartment at the moment and I found out that storage cages are actually very important mm. because if you don't have much space in the apartment, you just want to put maybe your cricket bag or your tennis rackets, you want to put them in the storage cage. Like what you find that when you live in an apartment, everything becomes scarce, so, si so storage areas is really important and so to have a storage cage just to store some of those stuff that you don't need in your apartment or don't need in your living area day to day gets really important. Mm. So the fact that it's got that is good. A plus. Um, second bedroom is a bit small. I... 2.8 metres by 3.2, like it's... What's the average sizes, you know, for a... 3 by 3, a three probably. 3 metre by 3 metre apart, uh, sorry, bedroom is probably what you'd want as a minimum. Now, 2.8, so it's a little bit small, but the fact that it's 3.2 the other side, maybe it balances out a little bit. Yeah, and I also think that you need to be wary that often the actual measurements do include the uh, closets as well. Mm. So they measure to the, the wall itself, so the closet might be actually inside that spatial area. Um, so you just want to double check that. Bring handy, your ruler. Tip, handy tip for Marcus. Yep, handy tip for me. Um, and the... So what did that one sell for, Marcus? Oh, 1.01 .01 million. Now, okay. what do you think, a million dollars? I'm not sure what the internal area again is. So without knowing the internal area, I can't tell you exactly what it is per square metre. But a million bucks, for that's a big amount of money for a first home buyer. Um, but for someone that wants to be right in the heart of Fitzroy, that yeah. wants that balcony, yeah. that wants the barbecue area, like, I can see why people like that. Yeah, and it appeals to and people. And it's a very attractive development too. It's un very highly under demand. Yep, and talking about attractive developments, mm. we'll move on to number three, Ben, this one. No, number three. Now, attractive developments, this is going way back because we're now going into the heart of the CBD now. This one is Unit 61 of 1 Exhibition Street, Melbourne. Now, 61, you were correcting me before, there's not 61 apartments in this development. It's on level six or the seventh level of the building. Yep. And... This is, well, the penthouse. Now, this building actually was original. I'm not sure when it was originally built, but it's a heritage building and then it's been converted into an apartment building. Or maybe it was originally an apartment building, but it's an older building. And this beautiful building. Though, yeah, it is. It. It's right in the heart, so on the corner of Flinders Street and Exhibition Street in the Melbourne yes. CBD. This one's on the top level. It faces south, overlooks the Yarra River. So while we talk about things facing south, um, north more desirable for apartments when you're up that high and you've got that much natural light like it's, it's still super... fine and uh, yeah right and have a look at these windows like you know the windows look beautiful you Arch. feel like you're oh yeah it's just stunning and then it's over two levels so look i don't have too much of an issue there the terrace is huge on the roof it's right? huge it, it's huge like it's the terrace is massive 6.8 times by 8.6 so a at really least talking big, about 50 square that's a big meters. area for barbie look even on the floor plans it tells you fitzroy gardens mcg botanical gardens art, art center, center cbd views like this is fantastic now this sold for a big price for a 2.401 million dollars now when i say big price a big quantum of dollars but on a square meter rate what now again i can't confirm how large this apartment actually is but look to me it looks like it's got to be don't even try. Yeah. I mean, so, it's a big apartment. So when we look at rates per square metre, the, some of the really good high quality office rates in the Melbourne CBD can go well above $15,000 a square metre. This one here, I don't think is $15,000 when I'm looking at that sort of size no. of the apartment. So to me, value-wise, it looks okay. Do you want to explain why the office? Oh, yeah. yeah. we better get into that. Is that so... For an apartment, because there's a lot more different things that go into an apartment than an office, often it's more expensive to build an apartment compared to an office. Toilets, other walls for bedrooms, etc., etc. And so then when you're looking at just on a really basic apartment versus office, building it on a square metre rate, it's more expensive to do an apartment. So if you can buy an apartment for a rate that is cheaper than what the office rates are selling for, it seems good. Now that might have been a little bit complex for some people, but all in all, it just seems like, it doesn't seem like it's a huge quantum of dollar for that sort of unique apartment. Could this be converted into office, Ben? It could be. Like, imagine that for a Terrence for someone. I think this could be a, quite a desirable office area. Now, the entrance off Exhibition Street, we, we've had a look at it. it it's fairly basic. Yeah, it's but basic. I think for someone that wanted to have their own office Small there. Small boutique uh, property firm. Yeah. <laughs> <is it? laughs> um, I don't know, but it, it could be quite attractive. Either way, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a great thing. It's in the middle of the location of the CBD, Paris End, irreplaceable. I think it's a good property. Views are amazing. All right, we're going to number two. Number two, Marcus. All right, number two, one of my favourites. I wish this was my pad, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> 14 slash 286 Turak Road, Ooh. South Yarra. Now, it's three South bed, Yarra. three bath, two car. Ben, it sold only for $1.5 million. 1.5. Now, we don't know, again, we're going back to that rate per square metre. We don't know how big that is, but for a three-bedroom, three-bathroom, two-car with, with a, a huge super terrace. terrace, 
that sort of quantum doesn't sound a huge huge amount. It's also, South Yarra. South Yarra, right two, on the corner near Combo Centre. Two cars. And do you even need the cars? You've got the tram right outside the front door. You've got the train, train. station, South Yarra, just nearby. Um, I think it's unique. And when I say unique, it's double storey. It's yeah. got your main bedroom upstairs, which essentially... Oh, that balcony, you, you could, Yeah, I know, it's a great balcony. You could put just the bedrooms downstairs, the two bedrooms, and use that as a breakout space, yeah, a, a yeah. lounge area, or, or you could study. have a study. Um, now... Two bedrooms have en suites, which is a major tick. Mm. Um, the rooftop is huge, has been set with a barbecue, faces northeast, our ideal kind yeah, of sun location, so orientation way. Um, two car sports and a storage cage. I love this one, 1.5 million. If I had that piece of amount of money, I think an I apartment think here. For a modern family that wants to be right in the heart of everything, three bedrooms, I think that's really, really good. For mm, the, a young professional that wants to have their home office upstairs, maybe a bedroom or two bedrooms downstairs, it's good. I think, look, not everyone can afford $1.5 million, no. absolutely. Yeah. But for what you're getting, for that sort of location, you're getting a penthouse apartment, look, I think that looks quite desirable. Oh, I, yeah, I, I definitely, at $1.5 million, I'd, if I had that money, I would be... Buying it, I love it. All well, right, there we go. Number, number one, one. Here now we go. building up to this. So this <laughs> is the number one apartment sale that has got us excited or talking. Got our attention. In attention in 2022. Now, Ben, where are we going? Where so are we going? We're back to Fitzroy. I know we've talked a lot about Fitzroy. No, Fitzroy, these sort of inner city areas really attract our attention. Now, this one here is a really, really unique apartment. Now, yeah. I went to the open for inspection. There was stacks of people. The auction had stacks of people. It's unit one, 52 Brunswick Street, Fitzroy. Now this is on the corner of Brunswick Street and Gertrude Street. Gertrude Street in 2022 oh, got something like the, the second most coolest street in the whole world. Um, and so this one here is on the second level, so it's above, there's retail on the ground. It's on the corner, so you're getting light two sides. It's got these beautiful little um, Juliet balconies and also then upstairs it's got this what, what, do you, what do you call that? A pergola? A oh, yeah, pergola. a pergola tower that you can sit there, you can have your coffees. It's like a tower, a heritage building. North so. facing, you're not too high up, which is great. It's recently been refurbished, so look, you can have a look at a couple of the pictures. It looks really cool on the inside. The bathroom, the kitchen, yep. I love it. Looks really good. Upstairs, two bedrooms, one bath shared upstairs, but then there's a bathroom downstairs. It's got like a little sunroom area too. The sunroom's cute. I was just going to say, mm. the, the main ensuite, um, it can be just a main ensuite and the door doesn't have to open there and the person can use the, the bathroom downstairs. But it's unique because it's the location and it's got an undercover tower that you can go out to and a sunroom. Look, I think when you're buying things, we, we talk about supply and demand and buying something that's unique. This is really unique. Like, really, really unique. The only disadvantage is, is that... Um, it's on two different main tram yeah, lines. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether the the windows, they're double glazed or whether they have some sort of soundproofness there. Is that you might hear those train, tram, sorry, trams yep. in the middle of the Acoustic night. Acoustic wise. So it might actually be a little bit noisy. Now, I don't know whether that's true. I haven't been there at night time. Maybe the windows block it all out. But that's really the only thing I could see as an issue with it. Gertrude Street, Smith Street, Brunswick Street, all really popular, cool areas. This is right in the heart of it. Maybe for some people a little bit too in the heart of it. But I can see for, you know, some sort of person that wants to buy a really cool apartment that's irreplaceable this is seriously attractive completely niche and i can see myself being on that um kind of tower looking down to you at the ground having ben, a coffee you know saying coffee, hey how are you hello um but otherwise niche love it renovations already been done move-in ready how Looks much did, how much was now it also been? too there's no lift in this building so to get oh. to that level for some people that could be an issue because maybe they can't walk up the stairs or whatever for some people it might be attractive because Having a lift in a building, you need oh, to maintain the lift, yeah. you need to pay for it each year, so that could be a cost saving for some people as well. The cars, they're at grade cars, they're not a stacker, so this is quite attractive. It's only one, um, one on second loft floor, of essentially. stairs that you've got to walk up. One loft yeah. of stairs, one, loft like of, one flight um, of stairs. So I want to compare this one, Brunswick Street, Fitzroy, mm. 1.57 million, to the South other Yara. one, South Yarra, mm. Turak Road, 1.5 million. Very similar price, very similar actual. Um, I guess, oh, well, I guess the uh, track road is Might be slightly bedrooms. bigger, and that, that's it. Like, it's got three bedrooms. It's got, was it two, three bathrooms? So it's got an extra bathroom. Uh, it's got, they both have these, that one, the South Yarra has a big terrace sort of area. 
Which uh, one would you choose? It's really hard. Like, they're very neck and neck. The South Yarra is really attractive. I love Fitzroy. I think this is irreplaceable, this sort of apartment on Brunswick Street and Gertrude Street. So I think I'd probably pick there. I'll have South Yarra. You can have Fitzroy. Yeah, right. I think that's what we'll leave it with. But, um... Top 10 apartment sales, let us know your thoughts. Yeah, let us know your thoughts below. See whether you liked any of these, whether you didn't like them, whether there were some that you think should have made the list. Now these again, let us say, these are the ones that got us excited. Maybe they're not the ones that got you excited. So leave below the ones that you liked. Maybe we can talk about them in an upcoming episode. Yep. And thanks for watching, thanks for listening. We'll be back next episode with Top 10 Houses. That's we all are. in 2022. We are, we are property, property pals. pals. Thank you. My name is Ben, this is Marcus, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.